smile, smile. Hello, this is Terry, and I'm here to show you today's block called Snowball. It is one of those blocks that works wonderful by itself, or maybe alternate it with one of your favorite blocks, like a log cabin, or a shoe fly, or any other block. It, it's just a nice, simple block to put together a great, fast quilt or anything else that you might need. To do the snowball, you need four squares that are smaller than uh, half. If you're going to figure out what you want to do, figure out your center, and then these need to be less than half. So you don't want half because then you're doing like a square in a square technique. We only want to decorate the corner. So we have four squares, and if I look, these are two and a half. And on the back, I've already drawn my lines point to point. Now, this, so many times I've had you draw on the left and the right. This is one of the times in which you want to draw your line, just one line point to point. And that's because once we sew this on, that side can be pitched, can be saved for a different project or whatever you want to do with it. So to sew on our snowballs, our corners, to create our snowball, very simply, one at a time. Now these are not going to overlap, so when I do them, a lot of times I'll do one, I tend to do the opposite side. Joining. I like to get them all done at the same time before I cut and press. This mini I can and once more I have my four. Now I will press them. And there I have my four corners done. Now I cut two, they're one and a half by six and a half strips to go on each side. Add a border so that way my pot holder will be a six and a half, not six and a half, excuse me, eight and a half. So these are one and a half by eight and a half for the top and the bottom. I put that together, then I put my back together, and I have used that beautiful leaf print for my back. I add a layer of batting and my insole bright to give me the nice. Um, thickness that I need. On this particular one, because so many times I do just the stitch in the ditch, I chose to do some free motion quilting. So my free motion is just on the snowball itself and I just did a really tight scribble, but I stitched in the ditch on the angle and around the outer section. And that changes the whole kind of depth and perspective of this particular pot holder. Go to our video on binding a pot holder to add your binding and check us out on our website, stop by our store, but either way, hopefully you'll make a bunch of snowballs for that snowball quilt 
or you'll add them to another quilt of your choice. Thank you for watching us here at Fabric Junction.